Can you hear me? Okay. So, welcome to the presentation about intelligent power switches for uh, automotive and uh, what ST has uh, in plan to do in order to face some challenges in the mobility uh, for what concerns power distribution or basically power, low voltage power. Basically, we will talk about low voltage power uh, in the automotive domain. So it means uh, from 12 volt to 48 volt. Oh, we, we, we will start by micro trends. So I will just make an introduction about uh, the automotive domains, uh, the challenges, uh, uh, of course, what, uh, what challenges we have to face for the evolution of the, of the cars, how to face them, and finally, the VA power uh, products, which is the technology that we use for the smart sets, and some takeaways. This is uh, the um, ACES uh, is uh, what uh, it's an acronym which is uh, very much uh, used now for uh, describing what are the trends in the mobility. So it's, ACES stands for autonomous driving, connectivity, electrification, and shared mobility. So all these uh, macro trends uh, uh, are influencing are influencing uh, drastically and dramatically the electronics, the hardware, and the software. In fact, we talk about software-defined vehicle, which is uh, already starting. Uh, you can see that uh, the, the cars uh, basically will have a lot of, now there are a lot of scattered is used all around the cars. And uh, what is taking is uh, now is, uh, is uh, we, are, we are assisting at the fact that we have different domains with a lot of issues also, but also domain controller. But uh, the trend is to go to, uh, to zonal gateway, and this will take some years, but the trend is to have basically a uh, centralized module which are in contact with sensors and actuator in each corner of the car. So this is uh, the macro trend that we will see in some years from now. Of course, uh, having uh, bigger is used, uh, collecting all the information from sensors and uh, uh, giving uh, driving actuators, which will increase in each uh, centralized module, in each gateway module, will, uh, will bring some more complexity in the ECUs. And uh, so, in fact, uh, the ECU number uh, will decrease, uh, but number of output will increase. Uh, and of course, uh, we have uh, complexity in managing hardware and software. And uh, regarding the power loads, new function for uh, uh, safety loads uh, or comfort loads, uh, all together in one single ECU. So we will have uh, scattered in one, uh, concentrated in one single ECU with different kind of loads with different mission profile. Uh, how do we manage complexity? So this is the first question. ECU board shall be light and small because, of course, uh, if I put a lot of outputs, the trend is to increase the dimension, but we want to keep or even to reduce the dimension because of uh, energy and also CO2. The, the car has to, 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 to weight less. Um, what is the next? How do we manage power dissipation? All concentrated the power MOSFETs and power uh, smart FETs inside of the single ECU. A risk of failures, uh, short circuit, of course, because uh, the, all the ECUs will manage a lot of loads with cabling. And of course, uh, there could be some thermal incidents. How do we face this? Risk of failures, I2662, which is a standard for functional safety. How do we face this other challenge? Uh, last but not least, uh, many ECUs will be permanently connected to the battery if, because uh, they have to supply modules which must be always uh, uh, in standby on what we say, that, that the micro has to do some verification. So the, during this time, even if the car is idle, we must keep uh, the power uh, consumption from the, 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 the device itself very low. Let's uh, start from the first challenge. So as you can see, we have uh, uh, basically uh, different uh, devices with the SPI bus. 
and you can see a lot of channels managed by only two SPI bus, and these uh, will interact with the microcontroller in order to save resources with up to 10 devices connected to SPIE or SPIB. These are high side drivers, low voltage, all of them. And there are multi-channels, so they, we can have uh, uh, from 20 to 50 channels in theory uh, driving in one ECU with only two SPI bus. IPS uh, will, uh, in order to save resources and microcontroller IOs, uh, have uh, less number of GPUs. And even the ADC, I will show you a slide, the ADC will be integrated inside the device, not anymore in the microcontroller. So we will save about ADC on the microcontroller. Autonomous and synchronized diagnostic uh, will be done by the device itself with less uh, interrupt to the microcontroller. Integration and miniaturization. Uh, so the device uh, should be always more and more small, smaller and even having many channels, up to six channels, driving from one ampere to 15 ampere. And uh, basically, the device uh, uh, that we already have, uh, the SPI drivers, they have uh, uh, different uh, RDS on, so different currents in one package, which is a six by six leaderless package with the PCB RDS on, um, RTH, which is in the range of 15 Kelvin per watt. So very good uh, thermal performance. Other uh, challenges that I have a, a short circuit out to ground, uh, the device must be very fast, so it must latch immediately, or you can have, uh, for example, you can wait a window of time, which this window of time in order to retry. So there is a retry strategy in the device to check if the, the short circuit is still there. And this is programmable also. So programmability is uh, uh, paramount programmability in order to match the device with different kind of uh, loads. ISO 26262 is uh, the other thing that uh, the car makers, of course, is imperative uh, for the car makers, but also is required to us as a semiconductor supplier to have uh, basically the, the ISO 26262 ready, means that the device is not designed to follow ISO 26262, but, uh, but we can uh, support with all the documentation for ISO ready uh, the customer. And no extra power dissipation during standby, they have uh, to have an extremely low quiescent current during uh, standby mode. So these are the, how ST intends to, to manage these, these challenges. And that, of course, now I go more into the, uh, the technology, which is a technology where ST is leader since more than 30 years. This is uh, the VA power technology, which is uh, for vertical intelligence, which is a set of families. And you can see that here we go from different uh, steps of integration with uh, the figure of merit of RDS on, which is drastically reduced. And now we have 12 million millimeters square and with the uh, M011, which will be used for power distribution also to replace the, the the, the relay plus the fuse function, we will replace the relay plus the fuse function in the next years. And this will be done by this M011 technology. And this is the product portfolio. So we have two families. The M09 uh, is in production already. So you can, of course, uh, uh, order uh, those devices. Uh, the complete family is qualified since uh, approximately one year. And we have uh, SPI drivers with uh, different RDS on from 5 million to 100 million in the unique package, a tiny package, very tiny to have six channels. It's really a breakthrough, aiming against competition. And then we have uh, the standard parallel SA drivers ranging from 4 million to 80 million, one, two, and four channels in the very tiny power S16. So we have two packages, and all the devices are pin-to-pin -pin compatible. And even these devices are pin-to-pin -pin compatible with M07, which is the previous generation before M07, M09, which uh, M07 is in production since almost 10 years. 
Uh, going uh, a bit uh, into the breakthrough, because this is a unique feature that the device has, up to six output channels. PWM engine inside the device. The device uh, through the PWM clock uh, dra drastically reduces the frequency. And independently for each channel, you, want, you have the wanted frequency. And the SPI, you have the duty cycle and the phase shift. All is done inside the device. No big intervention from the microcontroller. And on, not only, you have the ADC, and through a priority manager, the ADC is uh, synchronized with the PWM engine. So no interrupt from the microcontroller to have the synchronization of the diagnostic. We have a very precise ADC with 10-bit resolution, with 5% total spread and nominal current. Limpon functionality go direction ISO 26262 with two input pins with via OTP. These input pins can be associated to the output behavior whenever you have a problem on SPI on the voltage regulator. If you have an issue, the, the functional safety log logic will overtake and will drive the output safely. Now let's come back to the technology. We have done a basic a benchmark uh, in terms of RDS on footprint, which is a again a figure of merit. We have done some benchmark with ourselves and with the previous generation. This is M07. And the new generation, you can see there is a dramatic reduction of the figure of merit. Even from the SPI, you have a power SSO36, which is one centimeter square, so it's relatively big. Now you have 0 0.36 centimeter square. So you have uh, almost uh, one third of the dimension of uh, six channels in one single package, so small. So you see that you have really a uh, huge benefit for the miniaturization, let's say. Now we have done also some other evaluation with the uh, PCB. So at system level, we have uh, we have put together two boards of different competitors. And we see we have uh, minus 40% of PCB because of this package. Uh, and it's really integration, because you, you must think you have uh, loads which are, can be really relatively big in one single package, driven by RDS on, which is very low. Uh, so minus 40%. Minus 30% of external component because of the SPI and the minus 65% IU and ADC, also because of SPI. Uh, the workload reduction, because I said that the synchronization of the diagnostic is done inside the device and without any microcontroller interruption, we have evaluated about up to 25% of microcontroller workload reduction. All this is the competitive advantages. Why you should select SC? Basically, we have four pillars. I try to a bit, uh, uh, we have, for, of course, we are committed to automotive. Auto the, the, the previous ADG is uh, really the biggest part of our uh, business. And we are committed to automotive in terms of experience, uh, manufacturing dependence, because we have double sourcing, automotive culture and methodology, because we do this since, since 30 years and state-of-the-art of quality figures. We have reached with VA power 0 0.08 ppm with this VA power technology. Technology innovation uh, M09 is the fifth generation of VA power family. So silicon and package, the leadless tiny uh, QFN package. Intellectual properties, uh, it's uh, regarding the STI square fuse, you will see in our booth, uh, um, it's uh, in the A for all. You will see in the iPod, uh, in, in the pod uh, booth, you will see a power distribution unit. It's very small. And this is uh, what we call STI square fuse. Uh, STI square fuse is uh, the replacement of the uh, fuse curve done inside the device with the perfect matching of cave car ca cable curve and uh, fuse characteristic. And this uh, will, uh, is giving uh, to the car maker, which finally decided to go in this direction after many years of, let's say, hesitating, uh, to have a new category of products with a function not only to drive safety to load, but also to protect the cable. And uh, protecting the cable, you save up to 20 kilos of cabling weight in the car. If you, of course, if you 
reduce the, the wire diameter, which the, the, the fuses are not able to do. Uh, of course, the design application support on demand. We have a, we have a full team uh, both in uh, Munich, Catania, uh, for example, to support uh, requests. The marketing is coordinating, of course, those requests. And finally, the capacity extension uh, ongoing with priority to automotive cars. I'm talking about devices which ACQ 100 qualified, of course. And market leadership, uh, no need to mention, we experience up to more than 40% of market uh, share uh, in VA power. So the takeaways are, uh, as I said, the IPS, miniaturization, integration uh, inside the, the, the device, the, uh, the VA power, intelligent power switches, especially SPI rich portfolio, including uh, the um, uh, ADC, which is a breakthrough ADC inside, doing the, the, the PWM itself and the, syn the synchronization of the diagnostic. Uh, miniaturization, as I said, uh, flexibility, because in the device you can program current limitation, RDS on, so you can use the same device for different kind of loads. Can be a lamp, can be a motor, can be a resistive uh, a heater and so on. With the same device, via programmability, you can choose uh, what kind of loads you, you want to drive. Uh, ISO 26262 ready, and ST is continue to invest in technology and manufacturing for feature-rich IPS. We are committed to sustainability, uh, the technology, people. I think that uh, one of the major resources uh, in the company I, I, I work uh, are the people. So th and uh, the fact that uh, we, we exchange information and we, um, we care about the people in ST, not only about the products. And of course, we, we care about the planet because we want to become uh, uh, um, carbon neutral by 2027, for example, by 2027, the, the, the target is uh, to completely be uh, um, re renewable sources, 100% uh, renewable sources. Okay, so this is our uh, booth. I will show you the, the power distribution unit. And uh, yeah, questions, please. Don't be shy. Was I enough clear? I hope so. OK. So thank you for your attention.